Hi guys, Chet here. Today we are going to discuss method CRM. If you're looking for an easy way to manage your customers, track sales, and improve workflow, then you're in the right place. In this tutorial, I'll show you everything that you need to know. First, we will talk about what Method CRM is and how it can help you. Then I'll guide you through that sign-up process and help you set up your account. We'll also explore the dashboard, and then I'll show you how to add a new contact and create an opportunity. So without further delay, let's get started. All right, so if you're new, let me give you a quick overview of Method CRM. Method CRM is a customer relationship management tool or CRM that helps businesses manage their interactions with customers. With Method CRM, you can track sales, organize contacts, create email campaigns, and more all in one place. It's a great tool for small businesses looking to improve customer relations and increase sales. Now, let me show you how you can sign up for a new Method CRM account. To sign up for Method CRM, type method.me into the search bar of your favorite web browser. This will take you straight to the official Method CRM website. Once you're on the home page, click the Start Free Trial button in that top right corner of the screen. On the next page, you'll see different sign up options. You can use Intuit, Xero, Google, Microsoft, or your email account to sign up. Choose whatever works best for you. For this tutorial, let's go with Google to keep things simple. Next, you'll be directed to a page to create your account. Enter your email address in the first field, then fill in your business or company's name in the organization name field. After that, type your name into the first and last name field. Once you have filled out all of the fields, click the Start Free Trial button to continue. Finally, it takes a few seconds to create your account. Now, once it's done, you'll be taken to your account dashboard. But before you can access the dashboard, you'll need to connect to either a QuickBooks or Xero account. We already have a Xero account, so we'll connect it to Method CRM. After you've linked your accounting software, you're all set to start using Method CRM. Now, the Method CRM dashboard is quite simple and easy to use. On the left side, you will see a menu with all of the main tabs that you need. Each tab is there to help you keep your business running smoothly. Let's go over them one by one so that it's easy to understand. Dashboard. Now, the dashboard is like your main screen. It shows your tasks, gives you helpful tips, and has shortcuts to key features. Plus, there are quick guides and demos to help you really understand how everything works. Next, you see the Contacts tab. That's where you're going to keep all of your customer and business information. You can add new people, update their details, and so much more. The Activities tab helps you stay on top of your work. Whether it's meetings, calls, or follow-ups, this section makes sure that you never forget an important task. Next, the Opportunities tab is where you can manage your existing opportunities and create new ones. Then, the Web to Lead tab lets you turn website visitors into leads by capturing their details from online forms and adding them directly into your CRM. And the Invoices tab helps you create, track, and manage invoices. A little further down, the Estimates tab lets you make price quotes for your customers. The Sales Receipts tab where you keep track of your payments from customers. Now this way, you can easily see who has paid and who still needs to pay. Plus, the Payments tab keeps track of all customer payments in one place. And the More Apps option, well that expands to show you all of the hidden features like classes, send email, sales orders, etc. And finally, the App Marketplace is where you can find and install extra apps to customize method CRM to really fit your unique business needs. All right, now let's go through how to add a new contact to your Method CRM account. To add a new contact, click on the Contacts tab there on the left menu. This will take you to the page where you manage everything related to the contacts. Once you are there, look for the Plus New Contact option on the right side of the screen and click it. This will open a new page where you can add all of the details for the contact. First, you'll see an option to upload an image for your contact. Click the Plus icon to either upload an image from your computer or link one from the web. Then pick the type of contact you're adding, like a customer, a vendor, lead, or add new contact. Just click the radio button next to the option that you need. For this tutorial, we're adding a new contact, so we'll go with the add new contact option. Next, the form will ask for the contact's first name and last name. These fields are required, so make sure that you fill them in correctly. After that, you'll need to enter an email address for the contact. Now, this email will be used for communication and notifications in the CRM system. 
below the email field, you see there are spots to add the phone number and mobile number. You can include both if needed, but at least one should be filled in to make sure that you can easily reach the contact. The next section asks for the contact's website. Here, you can add their business or their personal website URL. There's also a space to add tags, which helps you organize and categorize your contacts. You can type in something like VIP customer or prospective client, these tags make it easier to search and filter your contacts later on. Additionally, there are check boxes to opt out of marketing or opt out of billing. If the contact doesn't want to receive marketing materials or be included in billing, you can tick these boxes to respect their preferences. And finally, there's a button to add social media information. If you want to save any social media profiles for the contact, you can use this option. Once everything is filled out, you can click save to store their details or use save and new if you're ready to add another contact. Now, let me show you how to create opportunities in Method CRM. Now, opportunities are potential deals or sales that have not yet been finalized. They can help you keep track of potential revenue and prioritize your leads. To create an opportunity, click on the Opportunities tab from that left menu. This will take you to the Opportunities page. Now from here, click on the Create an Opportunity button. When you click the Create an Opportunity button, a form will open where you can fill in the details about the opportunity. The first part of the form will ask for contact information. You'll need to pick the contact for this opportunity from a drop-down menu. After that, You'll add the company name, email, and phone number linked to the contact. This really helps to make sure that the opportunity is connected to the right person and their business details. Next, you'll head to the Opportunities Detail section. The first thing to do here is add the opportunity name. This should be a clear and simple title for the deal or sale that you're working on. It helps keep things organized and easy to find later. Then you'll pick the stage of the opportunity from a drop-down menu. Now this will show you where you are in the sales process. For example, prospecting or negotiation. It's a quick way to track progress. Following that, you'll set the expected close date. Now this is the date when you think that the deal will be finalized. You can also add tags to this opportunity just like you did for the contacts. These tags help categorize and organize your opportunities. You'll then assign the opportunity to a team member by picking their name in the Assigned To field. If you want, you can tick the box to notify them so that they'll know about their new task right away. The Probability Percent field is where you can add how likely it is you think you'll close the deal. The next field is for the opportunity amount. Now this is where you will type in how much you think the deal is worth. It really helps you see the potential revenue that it could bring in. Similarly, the pipeline value field shows how much the opportunity adds to your sales pipeline. Now this makes it easier to understand your overall sales potential. At the bottom of the form, you'll see a description box. This box is where you can add extra notes or details about this opportunity. You can include things like specific customer needs or key selling points to make it clear. There are also options to include more details or set up a follow-up activity. Once you've added all of the information, you can save the opportunity or create a follow-up activity to move forward in that sales process. All right, that is it for this tutorial. I really hope this video has helped you understand the basics of using Method CRM. Thank you so much for watching. Look, if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more step-by-step -step tutorials. And if you have any questions, please feel free to drop a comment below. I would love to hear from you.